little bit of a misplay on the backboard there. The Lancers got to find some way to defense event to play that one up off this left wall court. They did. It'll pop up there. And welcome back into a not so long intermission. We are back on the loser's bracket side of things. St. Clair College, they fell to Fisher College 3-1 in a very, very back and forth series. Now, as I said, find themselves in the lower bracket taking on Seton Hall. We will be in best of five territory the rest of the way. This is loser's quarters. If you want to try to make it to loser's finals, where Rochester is eventually waiting. Stokely, though, not waiting for anything. Going to find that first goal. Nice turn. Stokely, big one off of it. Bounces right over Christian. And <laughs> that's going to be 1-0 for Seton Hall there. Rest of the Seton Hall roster. I believe that was Tone. That last Froze. Name there. Tone, Froze, and Stokely to round out this roster here. Froze taking up. Pass towards the middle. Stokely, can you follow up? Gonna hit that one. Ramen passing it out to Scoots. Tone, the only one on the defense here. Taps off a Ramen. No follow ups, though. This one's in that crease, but it's gonna be cleared out. Froze got a wide open net all the way from net to net. Carry that one over. Saints, a little too aggressive in that blue side. Yeah, Froze actually does get a little bit of touch on the ball. So yeah, maybe throwing Robin off just a little bit there, creating that little off angle. Seton Hall now finding themselves up 2-0 nice and early. Like we said earlier, it is best of five. So the slow start, not going to be ideal. But if you're St. Clair, you have all the time in the world to try to get back in this game and get things going here. Stay by Robin there now. Session up, but contest from the side of Seton Hall here. Frozen Tone have been really good at getting into whichever player is carrying that ball and just knock it off the hood of that car. Don't let the dribble get started because when you leave yourself in that kind of like mix-up situation at the net, is he going to go high? Is he going to go low? Is the yeah. pass going to come through? Yeah, it's so hard to make those reads, especially when it's those shots that are very, very close to the net. You have maybe 0 0.3, 0 0.4 seconds to react. Ramen though, great reaction, great timing. Spoods with the assist. St. Clair gonna cut this deficit in half. Finally get on the board just about a minute and a half into this game one. Now, just one goal to get back and tie things up. And flies in the center there for that one. And now, kickoff. Pretty important here. Find some aggressive option off of this, off the backboard, but not the prime angle for Seton Hall to really follow up. Tone gonna try and keep it in as long as possible. Cleared out on the hair by Stokely now. Classic Rocket League ping pong here before it's sent to the middle. Christian, not necessarily a breakaway there, but one-on-one -on -one with that defender for a short while. It's good to try and clear that one out. Right now, Spoots, a bit of a breakaway for himself here as well. Pass it out towards the middle. Tones hit net. And on that follow-up, great save by Stokely. Yeah, Christian doing such a good job there to get in that way and block that off. Now we see if the Saints can try to find this equalizer goal. Spoots trying to work into the right corner here. Oh, in the crease. Oh, Spoots is going to catch his nose. A little bit of incidental contact there. Could not get out of the way. Would have been a decent shot on net there. At least would have been registered. Stokely immediately back the other way. Seton Hall's counterattack. They have one speed, and it is on a maximum the entire time. Every time St. Clair gets that ball back and forth, it seems to ping back to that orange zone. That double demo, too. Could be able to buy them a couple seconds to get something set up here. The ball is going back the other way. The ramen can he win the foot race? Not going to do so just quite yet. Pro is now trying to find some way to get this ball out get that pressure back here. Rose will pass to himself off the wall. Get up towards the anchor back to himself once again, but Christian. Finally clears that one out. No more members of Seton Hall even following up. Froze just taking it all the way from one end to another. Froze set on the front of the net. Be bumped out of the way by Ramen. Oh, seems to always be on top of the ball. Like 24-7 here during this game. Following that one up after a demo onto his teammate. Saints, this could be your time to clear it out of this zone. We've been sitting in this orange zone for a long time here. I want to let Seton get some opportunities set up like that. It's been about two minutes straight in that zone. The pass way downfield. The cross court Hail Mary pass is going to direct. Spoods going to find back while Ramen. Beautiful job from that opposite corner. Putting it on a platter for Spoods. And Spoods, he's going to finish that thing off with authority. And just like that, 
We now have a 2-2 ball game on our hands. A minute 37 left to play. Both of these teams extremely even, extremely back and forth. Basically what we expected, especially as we get to the latter part of this loser's run. Any more losses now and you will be going home. So which one of these teams though is going to break the tie here in game one? all the way back out. A nice floater, Stokely. That was a good angle from the corner, but Christian right in place for that save. I really thought Stokely had that one. Oh, now, trying to clear it out of his own zone here. Nancy flips in the yeah. corner, out towards Froze in the air. Froze gets a long carry off of that one, but not necessarily the angle you're looking for. As Stokely is following up on this one. Seton Hall just looking for that prime touch. The setups are there, but St. Clair to just be constantly testing them. Yeah, Seton Hall has been very, very clean in that offensive end. They found a good litany of chances as well. The Saints defense, though, has been so stout all day. I mean, against Fisher, I legitimately think they got outshot like 60 to 15 over the course of that series. They still kept every game close. They still kept it in striking distance. Even though the Saints haven't necessarily gotten the most opportunities every game, they seem to make the most out of those couple that they do get. There's going to be a pass. Oh, what a save tone. Potentially going to save that game, trying to at least force this thing to overtime. Although there is still a little bit of time left for them to make a play. Christian going to get the bump off the top of that backboard there. Not going to be able to follow up with that ball. Now for 76 boost, trying to fake out these Saints. Not going to be able to do so quite yet, though. Stokely going to try to get this one going back the other way. Maybe one last grasp here for one of these teams' tone. Looks like he's maybe content to send this to overtime. They're going to try the pitch shot. Not going to find it. And back to overtime we go. Back to overtime, what, fourth, fifth time today? We've had fifth, some yeah. close, close games here, Jobin, but I can't really ask for more on a CRO qualifying Sunday here as Spoods tries to knock that one out of the zone and pass back over to Raman and clear good for a little bit in the air for Christian. Oh, she's gonna meet that one high. Finally, Froze doesn't follow up on one of those balls right now. <laughs> Saints have a little bit of time to work in the Seton Hall zone here, but need all three of these players to be very, very <laughs> on each other's wavelength here. We need these passes to come through. Easy setups, you can't be relying on a solo play here. Well, the, the good thing about overtime being in that golden goal, you can get the, the worst, dirtiest, cheesiest goal of all time, and it's all going to count the same either way. Although, like you said, getting that consistent offense is probably going to be, be able to foster better chances. You're not going to be relying on, yeah, some crazy flip reset, someone taking it coast to coast. Like, that's a good shot at the net there. Going to go off that right post. Second touch, not going to be found. Christian now trying to play it up the side wall here, seeing if there's anyone waiting in to pick this one up. Demo over onto Rahman. That net going to be a little bit vacant. Spoots touch off that back wall. Going to be followed up once again. Rahman on that respawn. Going to be there to play that one out. Although, Play back for this midline. Both of these teams still so evenly matched. Overtime, a lot of Rocky League overtime either go like 30 seconds or ends up being like a two, three minute slugfest. And a minute and a half is all it will take. Stokely icing on the cake. Seton Hall will take game one. Seton Hall, Stokely with his second goal of the game. Gonna finish that one up there. Assisted by Tone finishing off that overtime and taking Seton Hall 1-0 here in the first one. Oh, actually, both goals of the game there. Yeah. Yeah, I scored that one early and then got the other one late. Look at six shots, so 830 scores in Seton, too. Yeah. Very, uh, <laughs> let's just say a key player there for yeah. Seton Hall. Look at the saves, look at the shots, and not to mention the first goal and the closer yeah. in that series. Stokely, clearly a player to watch out for. Yeah, Stokely showing that RLCS contender that he has been in a lot of these big spots. He's played some damn good Rocket League. I mean, five saves, six shots, two goals. Basically like LeBron James out there, filling up the stat sheet, facilitating the teammates, putting the ball in the hole when you have to do so yourself. And now the Saints find themselves in that unenviable spot, being down that first game in this best of five, trying to come back and even this thing up. You don't want to fall behind 2-0. Reverse sweeps against any of these top caliber teams is going to be a very, very, very hard ask. Uh, now getting into game two here. In full college. She's gonna get demoed right off the start is smooth, but a good angle. Christian just a little bit too high. Follow up on that one. Spoods back and respawn there for the save. Christian and Raman looking to take this one 
offense here, but Cone shuts that one down early. Yeah, Cone trying to stop that before it can get going. A little bit of bump for those two Saints Hall members. See if the Saints can maybe do anything with this ball, but it's gonna get pinched back the other way. Both teams kind of retreating to boost there, kind of giving up on that ball. Now the chase is gonna be on in this orange zone, though. Saints Hall trying to pick up where they left off last time. They spent two and a half, three minutes straight. It felt like pressuring the Saints that last game. That is a great pinch off that back ball as well. Kind of spun that push before it begins. Stokely, who is the man of the hour in that game one, trying to see what he can cook up here in game two. Spoons, though, trying to see if he can get something going of his own. But so far, there's a lot of back and forth, a lot of space creation, but not a whole lot of shots on that. Yeah, and after both of these teams were so tight in that overtime as well, you kind of expect that's how this next game is going to start. A bit of a deadlock here before one team really finds their footing, finds that momentum. Just waiting gonna give this goal is the question. Very close on the goal line there for Seton Hall, but the defenders are gonna keep it there. Cone clears that one out, takes it all the way to this Saints zone here. Cone and Stokely just to get some pressure going. Spoods takes it high, right wow. underneath throws and Spoods all the way from his own goal, from his own corner. Gonna dribble that one, carry it, lost the oh. air and into the net. The fake out, Spoods put him on the twister board, confuse them, lock them up, mix them up. Seton Hall now down one nothing. Spoons with a great individual effort. And while we said even last game, those goals are nice. It's getting those consistent chances. That one goal, it's not going to be able to catapult you to winning this game. I think you're going to have to score more than one goal to beat a team like Seton Hall. 100%. I, I don't think this game is is nowhere close to over. There's probably going to be more goals to be had say all the time one goal means nothing in Rocket League but a second one from half right there could mean something a very quick shot from it's not gonna land but now it's given a little bit of possession over for the same side waiting on Spoots to come back on the rotation there pass out to him Old boost I mean we've seen those carries yeah. before turn into True. goals but finally someone there it was supposed to go in and contest that one now. Demo for Demo. Players are going to come in from the air. It's Christian. Oh. Throws with the save. Yeah, Robbins. Very, very good shot. Almost picking it in that top left corner. Now Tono trying to get it going back the other way. Both of these teams have had some great chances offensively and defensively. And we have seen a whole lot of demos this series. So both these teams not afraid to throw that weight around. Try to get that space they're looking for. Clear out that goaltender. And that was that uh, desired, desired result is rather... Now Seton Hall playing off their backside, or can they get this ball up? They still have to find that equalizer. That's going to be a decent crack for that same set. Christian, though, Araman will be able to beat that one. No problem ball. Around in the sink, so maybe just for the moment, though, Stokely still yet to find the score card in this game. But a great job that first match, kind of carrying the load, finding those two goals. But St. Clair's defense seems like they've kind of keyed in a little bit. They have slowed the game down just a little bit. And if they can get that offense going, they should be in this uh, 40 in the game here. Time starting to run away from Seton Hall just a little bit. Definitely still a, a good chunk to play. Yeah. Nonetheless, but they're going to keep this pressure going over and over again. Christian a little bit high. It's going to tap off that crossbar. Back out to Raman. Who's keeping it in. On the field there. Quickly. High Christian every single time right there on the ball. Follows it up over towards Tone as well. And now, Boots ready to start this next goal. Ready to get this set up. Rose is going to be the one to clear that up. Yeah, even that little touch from Robin there. Both of those Seton Hall members are ready to go on that counter attack. They are ready to try to get a passing play set up. To get that second little touch. Two members go whizzing past him. Now this ball is going to be stuck in this Seton Hall zone for a couple seconds here. Can they get the interception on the goal line? Those boots trying to body bag throws there, trying to steal that ball away. Potentially find that second goal that you know the Saints would love to have right about now. Considering all it takes is one good shot to tie this game up. Potentially ports another overtime with the Saints. They're going to do everything in their power to avoid that outcome right now. Not much time left on the clock to kill Spoots. Trying to keep possession of this ball, buying as much time as possible. That is a great little stop and go as well. That's going to be an extra six, seven seconds off the clock. Spoots still has possession of the ball. 15 seconds going on now. Seton Hall might get a shot the other way though. Save going to be made by Christian. Now eight seconds left for Seton Hall to try to find one. 
Boots takes it out of the zone here, looking to find a second for themselves That's before fitting. the clock strikes. Zero, Spoods, second goal in the game, second for the team. Two seconds left on the clock. The game all but done for Seton Hall as Saints can bring it back 1-1 here in the series. Much stronger showing from them, but Seton Hall, you know, only really stepped off the gas just a little bit this game. Just couldn't find those yeah. shots, but still had the pressure going, still had the passes going for sure. Yeah, they had a lot of good set plays that first game, though. Yeah, they were able to execute on a lot of those passes, at least get those shot attempts up. I mean, look, only two shots this game. Stokely and Tone not registering any shots. The Saints racking up 10 of their own, so kind of flipping the script there on offense. And I mean, great job by Spoots at the end of the game there, too. Literally single-handedly eats 28 seconds off the clock or so and ends up scoring that second goal as well. Just phenomenal play by him at the end of the game there. And Christian and Raman just were so sound defensively. Didn't make any big mistakes. Kept everything in front of them. Were able to play the ball, make good reads. And now they're able to tie things up at one. And we are now in the best of three territory. Yeah, I found a lot of the defense from the Saints that game was shut down the shots before they happened. Right? Yeah. It's not save the shots. It's hit the ball off of the hood of that other car before the shot can even come out. And it was reflected in the score there. You saw two shots from the side of Seton Hall, whereas it, they should have had way, way more. Yeah. But Saints were decided to be proactive on that defense and just knock the ball out before it could even be possible. There, Stokely finds an early demo, but the pressure is on from Christian and Spoods as Roman is already this game here, waiting for Tone to come in. Oh, what a shot a there. Great angle, but off the crossbar. Stokely is able to find it in the end, bouncing on that goal line. But the first goal does go over to Seton Hall. Once again, another, another one tapped in from the Saints, but another early, early goal here from Seton Hall. That's going to feel good coming into game three. And I was going to talk about how the Saints, you know, it was kind of their Achilles heel earlier where, yeah, they were playing great defense, but the volume of shots they were giving up was never going to be conducive with consistently winning. Seton Hall threatening once again. Last game, they were able to batten down the hatches, even though they were in that defensive zone for about half the game. Minimizing the amount of shots was so good there. Now Spoots trying to play it up into the side corner here. It's going to be throws. Trying to see what kind of play he can make. Seton Hall centering that ball once again. Not going to be on target though. Now Christian has a lot of boost to play with. Through the air, but Tone there to make a great read. Now Spoots to see if he can follow anything up to get this goal back in tow for St. Clair. Just a little up to the game four or game three. Pull up on this ball, you see, so for it, it's going to make that save. There from Spoots and Christian. That's right in the middle. Yeah. Perfect angle for Tone to come in there and finish that one off, assisted by Stokely. Look at the setup there. That's exactly what you want. That player flying down the middle, using that boost, securing that goal. Only a minute into the game, too, just about a minute. Yeah, if you're St. Clair, you want to really start to get the offense going sooner than later because this is one of those games, as we see in a lot of times of Rocket League, once you get a couple goals given up early, it can be really hard to get back in the game. And sometimes that snowball can start to get rolling and get bigger and bigger. And that league can become 3 4, and especially as this clock starts to pick away. The bigger lead you have, the more the friend, and the more the clock becomes your friend there. And Seat Hall, they're going to have to know that as well. I'd like to see them keep playing that aggressive play style, though. It's worked really well the first minute and a half. It's going to be on St. Clair to find the answer and make the adjustment. And as of right now, they are continuing this aggression. A demo from Christian might be able to shut that down for a short amount of time here, but throws. going to really let that happen. Another demo comes through. Stokely out of the play now. Tone. Own defender there on the backboard, off the crossbar, Stokely's back up for the clear, and Saints, what looked like such a good, almost offensive drive there, unable to be found goal. Not going to be found after three shots towards that net. However, Saints looking to keep this going. Yeah, two minutes, 50 seconds, a lot of time to still play with, but you gotta start to hit that urgency button just a little bit. You gotta be a little bit quicker with some of these setups. Ball's fantastic. You wanna try to get the best chances available. Sometimes more chances is better than trying to get that one or two opportunities. See, Paul, they've done so good with this counter attack. They play at such a high pace. Went back and forth. Now, Christian, seeing what he can cook up. The demo is gonna be good. Shot not gonna be found, though. Stokely held his ground, and that net makes the save. Now he comes back the other way, tries to get something going over that middle line. Be able to hook up with Tone though. He's sitting back waiting here. Now he's gonna see what kind of play he can make Spoots. 
Playing it out of the corner. The Saints still desperately searching for this first goal. Yeah, I mean, they're finding the demos on these offensive plays, but you almost need to combo that up with a bump in the net because right now, whether it be Tone or whether it be Stokely, they're in the net ready for these saves, and they're always shutting down these shots from the Saints to Saints. Yeah, you can find a demo. Yeah, there's only going to be two defenders left, but you've got to deal with that defender that's actually in the net. Yeah, yeah, it's always great. If you can clear up the rest of the field, that's fantastic. But yeah, if the goalie is sitting back, just waiting to make a read, you don't really have a lot of boost to make an aerial play. It's not going to be that difficult of a read, especially for players of these calibers. See, Paul, though, I know they would love to find this third goal. Essentially, not quite ice it yet, but they'd be looking pretty damn close at that point. The Saints, only 90 seconds left. You still have to come up with at least two goals just to force overtime. They found the back of the net those first couple games with relative ease. least a couple of those times now, though, it has been an absolute slog to try to find this first goal, and they are running out of time. Uh, and about to crack that barrier as still all keeping this ball in the zone. It's up. Towards the sky, Spoods following that one up. You see Raman here from the middle, just a little bit too high on that ball. Saints not going to be able to find that goal before the minute Parker hits, but now you got to kick it into overdrive or Seton Hall is going to run away with this game. Tone looking to do exactly that. Can you set up the third goal? to be good off the backboard, but the corner is another story altogether. Spoods there for the save, but is going to get demoed. Stokely and Froze ready to keep this pressure on Tone there. Swimming around like a shark, just waiting to prowl on this ball. Waiting for that third player to come in. Secure his third goal, but it's going to be one from afar. Christian, that one's going to fly in. Saints now only one goal down, 21 seconds to play with. Not much time, but you do have a sign of life. And Seton Hall, they were playing the end of that game so, so well. Killing time, looking for those demos as well. You're at least buying yourself three, four seconds, playing that numbers game. Even if you don't score a goal off of it, you're basically keeping possession in that opposite zone. Now you're forcing the St. Clair to take some big swings. They were able to find that first while Spoos not going to be able to find that second touch. Precious time dripping away from this clock right now. Only six seconds to go here. The Saints, it's going to have to be now or never. Passing play over the middle. Christian could be good for the first shot. Second touch, not going to be quite good enough. Third touch off the wall. Spoos trying to keep this ball in the air, keep the game alive. They tried to go for the bump and goal. Did not pull through, though, the Saints. They're going to fall in game three. Seton Hall now sitting on match point to continue this loser's bracket run. St. Clair trying to fight back now. They have to win two in a row to overcome this deficit. Yeah, shut down that last second play from the Saints. Seton Hall now on match point. The Saints, I mean, you see the shot counters up there. They, they have the shots on net this yeah. game. It was just unable to break through that final defender. It was always that third player that seemed to be the bane of the Saints here. Yeah, you can see the save totals for both sides as well. I think it's four saves on six shots one way and then five on six for the other. So both of these teams playing such good defense as we stated throughout the rest of this series. But offense ultimately going to be the thing the Saints need to get going. The defense has been stout. Even the goals they've given up have been ones that are very hard to save. They've just been great mm. offense, but you have to find some way to consistently get more than one or two goals in each one of these games. Yeah, one or two goals. Is, it's like we talk about all the time. It's like consistency and sustainability. Yes, something might work in one game, but will it work in the next game in the set? No, you have to find exactly what's going to work against these specific teams. And right now, St. Clair yet to necessarily find that here against Seton. Now in game four, match point here for Seton Hall. St. Clair has to finally find that number, finally shut down this defense from Seton Hall, or else Seton Hall going to run away with the 3-1 here and keep this pressure going. Yeah, this pressure has been sustained the entire series. Even when the shot total didn't reflect it, they have had time of possession. They've been able to get three, four passes off before trying to find that shot they really, really like. Now Christian, you can get anything through that middle throw is going to be there to interrupt that pass. Smooth team looks good out of the corner here. Ball dangerously over to that middle area. Luckily, not going to be too much danger at the end of things. Smooth that one into the seat also. They're going to send it right back the other way, though. Try to get that pressure going. Try to start lining up these shots. And hopefully, try to find that first goal so they can try to ice this one. Now, this ball into the air. We've seen this before. Pops it over that defender. Throws right there to the left of the post. Is able to grab that ball. This 
going. A nice demo from Christian. But Eaton Hall going to have all the time in the world for that player to come back up. Throws now back in the game. Christian following this one up from the air. Not going to hit that touch there. Tries to send it out towards the middle, but Eaton Hall for a big clear there. Tone doesn't necessarily have the angle, but Stokely does. Christian there for the save. Third player trying to find that third rebound, but Spoons is going to stop throws from finding that one in the air. However, see Paul keeping it in this zone constantly. The story of this series. So yeah, kind of the story of the day for St. Clair. Kind of being trapped on that back foot, getting blue start, having the other team drive circles, starting to get those demos. And you can open up the passing lane to really see where you can start to find those golden opportunities. But luckily for, I guess, both of these teams, still a 0-0 ball game. No one be able to find the back of the net yet. Goals have been a, a bit of a you know commodity in this series. A little harder to come by than some other series that we have seen previously. But now we see Froze trying to get that demo onto Christian. Open up the middle part of that pitch. Spoots gave up chase on that. Just doesn't have really any boost to play with in the tank there. They were already away from this game just about the goal. Both of these teams still try to figure it It's a very tough part of the game now because there's so much of the time jumped off of this clock that now the first goal is very, very big for whichever team can find it. And Raman is going to be the one to find that right at the halfway marker, right after it there. Raman finds a demo. He's tripling that ball, finds the goal as well. Seton Hall now in that position where there's half the game gone and now they're down again. Yeah, exactly. Now you have to play the comeback game just a little bit. They were playing with the lead for a majority of this series, so maybe a little bit of adversity to see how they're going to react to it. Second shot on net, looking for that second goal right away. Not going to find it, though. Tone closing the door on that one. The Saints, though, still trying to threaten, realizing, like we said earlier, one goal not going really to be enough to cut it against this team. You cannot rely on getting shutouts every single game to get wins. Stokely trying to take that zero off the board. Going to get contested by Christian midair, though. Stops that push, at least for the moment. Raman, great job to block, body block. Tone there once more just to get that ball back out, alleviate some of that pressure, and not have to deal with this seat and ball odds block that we're going to come back. Yeah, but 50 time running away. That goals are a commodity in this series. Time has become a commodity in this game right here for Seat Hall. Minute 40 left, and it's still only one goal you have to make up for right now. And I think Claire still haven't found those same kind of openings that they did for that one goal. But after this kickoff, after that first goal, Seat Hall necessarily hasn't been able to find their pressure that they had found for two and a half minutes straight. And now Stokely seeing if they can find this goal. They have been putting a lot of pressure. They haven't necessarily found the amount of shots. They've been cycling the ball very, very well. Getting it to the right spots. It's all about the finish. Raman going to save that one. Pinching it out of that left post. Seton Hall finally got the look they were going for. It just did not connect. Raman closes the door. Potentially a massive save. Now the shot back the other way. He's going to see if he can get in that score column now. Try to find that second goal. Put themselves in a real sweet spot. Spoons. Taking to the air, not going to be able to follow up though. Christian waiting patiently under that hole. Who's going to contest that one? Now back the other way though. Raman going to get just enough of that one to get the pitch. Now Spoots seeing if he can get this one back to the middle. At the very least, repeat what he did last game and kill another 15, 20 seconds. Yeah, either way, these long lobs, these long hits, clears out of the zone. It's nothing but value for the Saints right now. Is the more time, the more seconds they chunk off this block, the closer they are to that victory. However, Seton Hall now in the zone, up towards the skies, Tone's trying to meet Spoons here, but he isn't able to find that forward momentum that he's looking for. Now it's an easy clear for the Saints. This is gonna come down to the wire, oh, the or bomb. will it to O? The bouncing ball is gonna find its way towards the net. Yeah, what a shot from Christian off the wall. A little bit of trick shotting going on there as well. And then Spoots, of course, the had bump. to get that bump. Yeah, the bump came in right at the end. Spoots, right place, right time. A great shot from Christian. Probably never thought that one was going to be on target. But you will absolutely take that second goal. And as we let the final seconds wane off the clock here, we will have a 2-2 series. The loser of this next game will be having their CRL East run cut short. And the winner will move on to that loser's semis, putting themselves one match closer to that qualification spot at the end. Uh, I didn't think we were going to have such a close game here in quarters, but nevertheless, after Seton Hall, looks like they're you know, 
truthfully, after game three, I was thinking, all right, Seton Hall might be coming away with a 3-1 yeah. here, but Saints have really put it all on the line here. Tone, five shots that game and three saves. Tone coming in as an, as an absolute MVP, oh, but still not able to clutch it out there in the end. Saints just played very, very consistently that game, and I it ended with them finding those two goals. I mean, the first goal, perfect, and then they just played such consistent keep away for minutes straight. They secure that last one. But now, Seton Hall wipe the scoreboard clean and Ward find the first one. Yeah, wipe that scoreboard clean and put a, a tally on this one. Seton Hall, eight seconds in. A little bit of a misread, Spoots. Not the touch he was looking to get. They're looking to find that clear to the corner. Doesn't work out in his favor. Seton Hall, very, very early lead in this sudden death game five already. 4.50 on the clock. Just barely started the game. Seton Hall already finding a goal. Now, Saints put in that position where they have the lead behind in the game. Yes, they have a lot of time to work with, but just the second there's a goal on the other team's side, it's, it's something that is in the back of your mind at all times. It starts that mental yeah. game. Saints just got to be unfazed by it. Just got to keep playing how you did last time. Yeah, that's a tricky thing. You see one nothing, and obviously it only takes one shot to score, but having the clock there as well could be such a tick on the mind. You know, hey, literally one nothing. We just need one shot, one good approach down the other way. This game is tied, but when that clock says 405 to when it says 105 is an entirely different ball game. You start to feel the urgency, the pressure ramp up, especially considering the circumstance. You feel the pressure in a normal game if it was one nothing, but when you're losers bracket, game five, everything on the line not really afford to make any mistakes. See, Paul trying to find that second one. Post and that second touch from Spoots. Good to keep it out for the moment. Throws, trying to get something going back with the middle. Conan throws, trying to link up on that goal line there. That second touch is going to be good as well. And it's going right back down the other way. Spoots going to bury that one. Seton Hall, three, four good cracks at the net. And all it takes is one end done from Spoots to tie things up. Ida Seton thought they had a guaranteed goal on their hand after those moves in the crease, but unfortunately, they moved that third player up a little bit too far, and the roller all the way from the other side is able to find it. Spoons, I believe it was Spoons who found that yeah. one. Spoons able to find that all the way from his own crease, or just out of his own crease. Now, straight back to defense, though, for the Saints. Yeah, I don't necessarily hate the idea, although that's going to be very tricky demo. Goal right back the other way. Tone going to find his second one of the game. Spoods getting taken out of the play there in the process. Tone just beating Christian to the punch there. And when you demo that last defender, the net is as open as it gets. Seton Hall increasing that lead back to one. Still have a lot of time on this clock, but they're going to be feeling a whole a big sigh of relief after taking that lead. Throws follow up on the ball in the corner. Pressure going, but now Spoods is right on top of this one in the corner to try and contest it. Stokely to grab the ball there. Flies over Raman in the air. Christian and Spoods, the only defenders available right now, but Christian looking for a pass out towards the middle there. Towards the corner, Spoods falls up on this one. Puts it over one defender, but Tone just barely gets that back wheel on it. Out once again, Saint Zone still. Oh. Back to the advantage, so anytime he's been in that same zone, he's going to a shot. Nothing but good for them. Good shot from Christian. Demo on to Raman. Now only two players here on the offensive. It seems like Saints just want to keep it here as long as possible. Let Raman get back into this game. Raman now back. They're going to be rotating out towards that net. Can he ball this ball up? No, from the middle. It's throws and tone once again. High five in for that goal. Yeah, I can almost see that play developing in real time. Both of those members from St. Clair were tucked up into that corner. Spoods was playing that middle line, expecting one of those other members to kind of be supporting him on that back line. Breakdown in communication, and that's all it takes. As I said, all it takes is one mistake, and these top tier teams, they will find the angle, and they will punish that mistake in Seton Hall. Exactly what they were looking for. Now they have that two goal cushion. They can play a little bit more free. They can play, you know, now they can afford to play a lot more conservative while, you know, still keeping that aggression, trying to keep that time of possession. But the Saints now, they're gonna have to start taking some chances and start taking some swings at some point soon. 
Ah, a minute 55 left, and Team Hall, you keep this up, you're gonna shut down the Saints CRL qualifying run here. Move on towards that semifinals, but Spoods saying not just yet here. We've still got a lot of time to play in this game. Another goal down for the Saints. Now only one goal away from this game. Yeah, all of a sudden, say these goals back and forth, back and forth. It's like either one of these teams doesn't score until the other one kind of strikes the iron first. So they go, okay, yeah. now we're having a little back and forth here. Seton Hall trying to go back once again. Then that's open. And just as I finished saying it, hat trick for Tone. Seven shots on the game. And in the blink of an eye, the lead is back to two. And St. Clair's backs even further against that wall. Seton Hall, very, very, very strong playing off of the kickoff. Yeah. They are so explosive off of that kickoff that if you don't have one or two defenders ready and knowing that they're going to be trying to go for some crazy aggressive goal, you are going to get scored on because nobody is ready for aggression like that. Yeah, especially not like consistently. Maybe a team will try it once or twice, see if it works, just to kind of throw something in there. But consistently, they're like, this is what we're going to do, and let's see if you can stop us. And so far, the St. Clair has not really had the answer. I mean, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Your Seton Hall, there's really nothing you need to correct in this game. The goals that have come, beautiful three demo. for Spoods, though. Beautiful demo indeed. Christian throwing his weight around in front of that net. Spoods, just a nice little floater. No extra touch needed. Three on the day for Spoods. we got dueling hat tricks between Tone and Spoods, but Seton Hall, they do still have that coveted one goal lead that the Saints have to break through, and they have a buck 12 to do so. One for one for one for one for one on goals here as he's back and forth, back and forth. Saints now once again, one goal away. Demo comes out from Christian. Christian follows up from the corner. It's off the backboard. Raman, you have to try and send it down. Wide open net, and it's just gonna keep bouncing high. The crossbar is the bane of every Rocket League player's existence. Saints are no exception here. Sent out towards the middle. Now 40 seconds left. Saints, you have to feel that one, but you've got to just shake it off and keep moving here. You've got to keep this defense going. You've got to clear this ball out because the time is running away. That ball is headed straight for, for, towards the net. Spoods. Save there, 25 seconds, sends it up in the air towards Christian. It's off the backboard. Another touch from Raman Tone, good for the save. Throws good for the clear, 15 seconds. It's bouncing straight into the Saints net, and Seton Hall have all but secured this game five, secured the series, and have all but secured moving on in this loser's bracket. Saints, 14 seconds. Yes, I mean, theoretically, you can find these goals right now, but boy, is it a tough one. Seton Hall all but secured this series. With one demo, Christian, there's a save from Frozen. That's almost that's already it. too much time. That's going to be it. Spoods looking for the fourth, but that's going to be killer for St. Clair to have that game basically slip through your fingers in the last 30 seconds. You're not able to quite get the touch you were looking for. Seton Hall in the best of five. They end up winning this last game five to three. The Saints, they're going to fall just short. Spoods falling just short of a thousand score in a non-overtime game. Tried his best, five saves, five shots. The rest of the crew as well played so well the entire day. Lots of tough competition though. And sometimes things don't necessarily go your way. Seton Hall, they're gonna be moving on in the bracket. And the Saints, as we said, gonna be done for the day. And Saints being done for today, that means us done for today as well. Nonetheless, great day here for some CRL qualifier actions. We had some amazing series, some crazy overtime games. And of course, I mean, you can't beat a game five series to end it off. An absolute banger of a series there. And Seton Hall moves on to semifinals where... Pardon? You see, Knights yeah. Academy, yeah. University of Central Florida going to be that team they're up against. And on, I believe it's losers finals, there is Rochester. Yeah. Those are going to be, I guess, your three teams left in the running yep. for that second qualifying spot as Fisher College did take the first one up there in winner's bracket. But as we move in to wrapping up for today, Jobin, 